What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're going to be taking a look at the rookie card explosion box. And this is the high end edition for the month of August 2022. And our first box of the month, the regular box, wasn't a total bust. It wasn't the best box by any stretch, but we did pick us up a couple of rookies and uh, a nice Tony Gwynn short print. Let's see if we can do better today, y'all. This box here, like I said, this is the high-end edition. It's around 155 bucks, I believe. Very, very good packs. It's not a lot of packs, as you can see, but if you take a look, the quality of the packs are just unbelievable. The potential to hit a monster card is there. I mean, 2018 Bowman, 2011 Bowman that I've never ripped. We got 2020 Bowman Hobby, and then 18 Update. There's a look at his website. If you want to try to pick one of these up, in my opinion, it's really one of the best boxes on the market. He doesn't do any shady stuff. It's just a guy that's well known across the hobby that puts out a really good product. I know mystery box, subscription boxes are not for everybody, but I love them. I love the chance, you know, that's just a gamble we like to take, but <clears throat> let's see what we can find y'all. There's our big one. I'm going to rip that one last, a 2011 Bowman. Yeah, I might rip this one last. Matter of fact, 2018 Bowman. That is a jumbo pack. We got 2018 Tops Update and then 2020 Bowman Hobby. <clears throat> like I said, I mean, it's only four packs, but you can do the math. I mean, you can go look these hobby boxes up and it's <clears throat> it's crazy. And I've always said from the beginning, I would rather rip higher quality packs with a higher chance at a hit or a better hit than a bunch of lower quality packs. That's just, that's just how I feel with it. I mean, yes, you do have a very high strikeout rate. There's no question about it. But man, all it takes is that one card, y'all. All right, here we go. 2018 Tops update. Let's see if we can go. Where are you at, Mr. Kuna Soto, Otani, Trevor Bauer? I don't know if he's ever going to get right. We got a rookie of Garrett Cooper, Brent Suter. We did pick us up a Mike Soroka, so that's a decent rookie. I was thinking, thought he was going to get back this year, but one of the, he's a finesse pitcher, really good pitcher. So I'll take it, Mike Soroka. Lorenzo Kane, 35th anniversary. And a couple of sideways landscape cards. So nothing crazy to start. All right, another big pack, man. One auto per box, but very, very expensive set right here. 2020 Bowman. Dominguez, Anthony Volpe. A lot of nice stuff. And I do see... Looks like some color in there. It might be an atomic. So it looks like we're going to have an atomic, maybe an insert. Let's see what we got, y'all. Mr. Ian Anderson, green, Alec Baum, Mason Denneberg, chrome, and a first of Joe Ryan. Bryant, Marte, Nick Solak. And what do we have here? It's going to be a Joe Adele spanning the globe, and that'll be out of 150. So we did pick us up one numbered card. 132 of 150, Mr. Joe Adele. Man, that dude made a spectacular catch. I believe that was last night. <clears throat> All right, y'all. 2011 Bowman. As you can see, Bryce Harper's on that. I think the main chase is Paul Goldschmidt. But you got Harper in here and J.D. Martinez. Man, could you imagine pulling a Harper Auto, Goldschmidt Auto? I don't know, y'all. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. We got a Jose Perella. That is a first Bowman. Tyson Auer. It looks like the black cards will be your veteran players and your uh, rookie cards. Brian McCann. Dominic Brown, we got an Adrian Gonzalez, 
insert top 100 Alex Torres for the Rays and we got a backwards card and check it out we did get an auto y'all Eric Davis first Bowman and we picked us up an auto of Drake Britton pitcher for the Boston Red Sox that is a refractor 186 of 500 man we got the auto of the box but not the player I was wanting to see but hey We'll take it. It is an auto. We finally pulled us an auto. Just wasn't a player. Man. But that's just how it goes, y'all. Then we got us a gold. I don't believe that's numbered. Delman Young. All right. We did pick us up one auto. And we got a very good chance at another one right here, y'all. Lewis Roberts in this. Shoei Otani. I believe Shoei Otani's first auto is actually in this product. That would be insane. It does look like I see a thick one in there. I'm going to just move it to the back. Could be a color. Looks like it might be a base auto, y'all. Let's see. Here's a couple of chromes. Aramis Garcia. Mr. Eloy. Dennis Santana, Cole Raggins, there's a flamethrower there, Jordan Hicks, put him to the side, nice pitcher, Scott Kingery, Romero, Franklin Colon, I'd like to see what this box is, I know this box right here is probably over a thousand dollars, close to a thousand bucks, very, very expensive jumbo box. Arenado, King Felix, Mr. Nitto, Dustin Fowler, Jack Flaherty, Scope, Springer, we got a Chatham, another Chrome, Bowman Scouts Top 100, Jorge Mateo, very nice card here, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., that is one of the Bowman Sterlings, very nice card, and let's see, did we get another auto, it is a batter, it's for the St. Louis Cardinals. Is that a Garcia? Jose Adolis Garcia. Check that out, man. I tell you what, last year, towards the middle of the season, this card right here was worth a good chunk of money and still not too shabby at all. I'll take it. Well, guys, check that out. Two autos from this break. Man, was we do in the high end. Finally produced us one. We got a very nice one there, Adolis Garcia. Not bad at all, y'all. Also picked up a Joe Adele numbered card and only four packs. I look forward to this box every single month just because of this. The chance is so, so massive, y'all. Guys, thank y'all so much. We do have some releases coming out finally, some finest flashbacks. Tops clearly authentic released today. I will have that in a couple of days. Probably do a box or two of that, and hopefully they'll start rolling in, y'all, and we can do some steady stuff. And I also have a couple of mystery boxes coming up here in the near future, maybe this weekend. Also, in the description below, my Facebook is always linked, LSU Maniacs Break Page. We do breaks in there. We talk to hobby, sell, trade, you name it. Very, very good group to join. Always in the description below. Well, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank y'all so much. If you don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.